Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about how to design SSRS reports with the DAX queries. Yes, now we have a DAX support to SSRS reports. Earlier, we used to design reports by using SQL queries, by using MDX queries alone. But nowadays, in SSRS 2016 and SSRS 2017, we have a DAX query support as well. Not only support, here you have a query designer also. See, as a SSRS developer, so we are a bit strong in writing a SQL queries, but may not be, but we are not that excellent on writing a DAX queries you may or may not know the complete syntax of the DAX. But in SSRS recent versions, you have a query designer support for DAX queries. You can drag and drop the required fields into the area query it automatically prepared by the SSRS interface. You do not need to remember all the syntaxes. You can simply drag and drop now. As this is a newly introduced, the DAX query support is also newly introduced in the recent version of SSRS. See, first of all, what is a DAX? Where exactly we do write DAX queries? We do write the DAX queries against the SQL Server Analysis Services tabular models. And you can write a DAX queries in the Power BI editor as well. So let's come back to the SSRS editor now. DAX queries we do write against the SQL Server Analysis Services tabular models. To show you a practical example, I have designed a tabular model and deployed into the server. It's a very basic tabular model. So I'll, I'll show you what are all the tables which I considered for my tabular model design. So here I have used AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. So which contains very famous tables. Everybody knows that now. So now what are all the tables I used for my example is so I have used a dim currency table and dimension table, dim customer table and a dim date table. It's a very common across the warehouses and dim product table and dim promotion table, dim sales uh, territory table, which talks about area and all next fact table. So one fact table with uh, six dimension tables. So these are the list of tables which I selected for my examples. So I have designed a model here. So in tabular model, we call it as a model. But in a multi-dimensional model, we call it as a cube and dimensions. Here we call it as a models. So I have designed a model with all these seven tables. Six are dimension tables. One is a fact table. So which I am showing you in the screen, those are the list of tables. So once it is ready, so if you want to see the design of it, you can see the design uh, diagram. So you can use a extreme right bottom. There is a diagram. Once you click on it, you can see how the tables are linked here. See, you can see the, how the tables are linked. So all the tables are interlinked. It's a kind of star schema. So all the tables are directly linked to the fact table here. Everything is linked to the direct fact table, not an indirect link. It's a star schema. So here I'm not going to focus more on how to design a tabular model and all. So I have designed a tabular model with all this table. So these are the table relations if you see in the screen. And once it is ready, I have deployed into the tabular instance. Hope you know that you have two instances of SQL Server uh, Management Studio. One is a multi-dimensional instance. The other one is a tabular instance. So I have a tabular and multi-dimensional instance as well. So I have deployed in the tabular instance. I cannot deploy these in a multi-dimensional instance. I can deploy only in the tabular instance. So I have deployed into the tabular instance. Now, if you see, this is the place where I can see here. So this is a tabular instance. The name of an instance is uh, 
dot slash SQL tab 2016 it shows Microsoft's NRC services 13.0 and databases I have two databases which I deployed recently for my examples okay so now let's expand this connections this is the one tables these are the tables which I showed you currency customer date product promotion sales territory and fact internet sales next one roles I'll talk about roles what is the roles we'll talk about a bit late these are the tables I I used for my tabular model design so once it is ready then you are ready to use those tabular models in a SSRS recent version report design and development now so let me open a report builder so I want to show you very quickly a basic example rather than opening SQL Server data tools I want to open a report builder so let me go to start and click on the report builder so in the earlier video I showed you how to work with the report builder how to download and how to install and how to start also so if you want in detail information on the report builder please go through that video now once I click on report builder by default I'll get a this window so let's click on tabular matrix wizard so once I click on it I'll get a uh, window like this again pop up new tabular matrix choose a data set if you already have a data sets are deployed as a shared in your server you can directly browse it otherwise you can create a data set now here itself but before creating a data set you need a data source yes now once you click on it it will ask for the data source yeah now it is asking for data source it's a bit intelligent it even first of all it can ask for data source then it go for the data set but no first ask for a data set then it indirectly goes to the data source again now if you already have a data source which are declared as a sh shared in some other place you can browse it but in my case it's a new now let's click on new so here once I click on new I'll get a window this is the place where I need to provide my SQL server analysis services tabular model details so by default is a famous one by default it selects the Microsoft SQL server let's change to Microsoft SQL server analysis services so let's select them Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services so once you select it now here if you remember all the connection things you can type it otherwise let's click on build so once you click on build it will ask you for the server name I showed you what is my server name here so my server name is dot slash SQL tab 2016 so instead of dot I can put my computer name I can put my laptop name it's up to me I can because I, I can I can refer my laptop or I can refer my desktop with a dot or computer name either is fine there is not much difference and once it is okay once you provide this and let's provide the connect the database name as SQL uh, what is the name of the database which I have SSAS tab SSAS tab 20 yes just type paste it or if you type it that's fine even if you click on this arrow it automatically comes let's click on test connection yes test connection succeeded it means that what are the details you provide that's correct click on ok click on ok and click on ok now data source is ready and one more thing is, here is I, I gave a default name I'm going with the default name data source one ok let's click on next in the next window it asks for the data set it asks for the data set so if you really see this window now it is a kind of query designer for the DAX this is a newly introduced in SSRS we do not have this feature in earlier version of SSRS this is one of the new feature of SSRS 2017 we have a DAX support in 2016 DAX queries you can write it but query designer in 2017 now so here I am I'm, I'm, even I am a beginner in writing a DAX queries okay then how to get the query so I told you that it's simply drag and drop so let's go to the uh, expand the respective thing expand the respective stuff okay and get the drag and drop the respective fields and not only these let's get some here as well see I just dragged and drop uh, like a couple of fields from couple of uh, tables like a sales uh, territory country from sales table sales amount from fact table calendar year from date table so I'm okay with the columns uh, you here you have an option click here click
click to execute the query let's click on it once you click on it you will get the values along with that so here you can see that united states sales amount is 3578 2005 canada is 3578 2005 i am not focusing on the values here here i can see bit duplicate same value it's coming for all the countries so i i, I am going to validate that query at the later stages okay i'm not focusing much on the query results now i'm focusing on how to design ssrs report by using dax queries that's it so do you want to see the dax query which is designed for us on behind yes you can see that so there is a way you can see it once you click on this icon so by default is it shows you this uh, design icon once you click on it it will show you the query which has been designed for us on behalf so here evaluate summarize columns of this one this one this one this is how it is preparing the inter internally so let's click on execute query you'll get the data here if you want to still go on to go with the design let's click on again it will show you the design it won't show you the query so once you are ready if you want some other uh, fields from different uh, places you can select it that's fine that's fine i'm okay with these three fields let's click on next and it will ask you like now so how do you want to proceed like this here so here even you can click on next by selecting the fields let me select some fields here so row groups is uh, this one uh, territory country so here values are um, calendar year and uh, this one so not calendar year again sales amount here you can select it it is a sum or not no i don't want to go with a sum i'll go with a normal value only let's keep it okay so click on next so now you can see this so you want some totals or something like that if you do not want something like that you can expand the you can remove that check click on next click on finish so report is been ready now here if you want to see if you want to run this report let's click on run it you will see the output here so now you can see so it, it has been again um, collapsed mode so australia if you expand it you can see it australia 2005 this one 2005 this one and so on you'll get it because it's depend different different products we have so this is how we do design ssrs reports by using report builder with dax queries by using dax design query designer so probably as a sql developer you might be knowing what is a query designer so we do means as a very beginner people might be using as a query designer but as a uh, professional or expert people might not be using sql query designer even but for us now mostly dax is a a, a new stuff for us we are we are beginner to the dax so for couple of days we'll start using the query designers then later we can directly write the queries however you need it so that's all about that's all about uh, ssrs report by using dax queries so not only this if you have any questions on msbi or some other stuffs which are mentioned here please don't hesitate to ask please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates on the technology articles so that's it about please like and subscribe for more technical articles